taking a transom apart? Yeah. Okay. You know, the bottom one has a neoprene seal. The bolts that I've got here, these are actually home depot. So these aren't even the original ones. Taking the pins out of the seat. Holding her up. There you go. So you kind of need a cargo strap or something to hold it together, right? That's a separator bar that you stuck inside the, the boat. Just latching it down so it stays closed. Okay? There you go. We got it. So now we're going to put it together. There you go. And then, so the instructions, the instructions say, Middle seat first, back seat, and so forth. So I do it differently. Okay. I do it. I do it a way that's better. <laughs> yeah. It's not complicated. You can do it that way. Putting the seats inside the boat. And finally, transom. So he's sticking the transom in. Then the back seat. Moving the spreader arm. Sliding it in the groove there. So you don't need the spreader once you get that center seat in, eh? I don't. I, I do it once I get here. Centered the leg underneath the front seat. Yep. All right, and then okay. you get your holes, which I, I like to put these in from inside the boat. Be 
because that way I can sit on the seat. Okay. Yeah, sticking the bolt through from the outside and pinning the nut and the washer on the inside. And this is a the bottom the bottom one has a neoprene sealer on it. Okay. These ones don't look here. These are my backup bolts. Which everyone should have too. When you say it has a neoprene seal on it, you're talking about the fastener itself, or the yeah, the bolt on the bottom has a rubber gasket on the outside. Okay. Okay. That's it. Very good. <laughs> How long did it take me?